And this is problem number eight from section 1.6. On this problem it says solve for t. We have e to the negative 0.2t equals nine. And what we want to do is we want to get t by itself. So our goal here is to essentially cancel out this, uh, this e, this base of e, so that we can get t out of the exponent. Well, let's look at the different laws that we've got. One of those laws is our exponent law, which is if I have log base b of some number raised to a power k, then I can write that power k out front of that logarithm and they're the same exact thing. So all I've gotta do is really, I gotta take the logarithm on the left side and the log on the right side and then I can bring that exponent to the front. So I'm gonna say natural log of e to the negative 0.2t equals natural log of nine. Now you'll notice we're in the same spot, right? We have log base, in our case, base e of m with k as our exponent, while well, our exponent is negative 0.2t. So I can bring that negative 0.2t to the front. So that's gonna be negative 0.2t natural log e equals natural log nine. Now I can use another property here that says if I have log base b of b, it equals one. Meaning if I have a log of uh, some base and inside the logarithm is the exact same base number, then it's just one. So natural log e is actually just one. We can cancel that out and we get negative 0.2t equals natural log nine. Now let's divide by negative 0.2t and we end up with t equals natural log, we'll say negative natural log nine over 0.2. Now you could probably leave it like this. I don't think it's gonna come out uh, evenly, so we'll just leave it like so in fraction four. Let's go to part B. Now part B, we're gonna use the same, uh, same law that we did in part A. So I'm gonna put these log laws away and we're gonna say in part B, we wanna take the natural log of e to the kt equals natural log of, and I'm gonna use 0.5 instead of a half. I'm gonna again bring the exponent to the front, so that's kt, natural log e equals natural log of 0.5. Well this natural log e cancels just like it did in the first part, and we end up with uh, kt equals natural log of 0.5, Last step, I'm solving for t, so I divide by k on each side. And that's t equals natural log of 0.5 divided by k. That's part b. Now part c, we're gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna take the natural log of e to the natural log 0.6t equals natural log 0.9. This, or this exponent's gonna come to the front, so I end up with natural log of 0.6, it's kind of a large zero, sorry, uh, t times natural log e equals natural log of 0.9. Well, this natural log e is gonna cancel so I'm gonna be left with just natural log of 0.6t equals natural log 0.9. Now I can divide this across and divide by natural log of 0.6 on each side. And I end up with t equals natural log 0.9 over natural log 0.6. And now we solve for t.